Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Master of Time. Uh, we just uh, finished the sand temple place thingy, my bob. And uh, yeah, we got the iron boots. And um, I remember that there was a spot uh, that we could not get to before over in the ice area. So I'm um, just going to quickly remind myself what... Okay, Requiem of Ice. Yeah. All right. There was like, I don't know if you remember, but there was like that um, hole in the ice that we couldn't really do anything with because we didn't have the boots. And I don't think we even had the, the, um, what do you call it? The, the scale either, so we couldn't even dive down there. But I think there was like a cave down there. I don't really know if like it's super important, but um, that's the only thing I could think of off the top of my head that would require the iron boots like outright. So we're going to go check it out. I don't know if this was, like, a good way to go. This might be pretty far off the beaten path. This is the only that song I have to get over to this area, though, right? I mean, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Wish they, um, put in the bunny hood on this one, on this mod. That would have been kind of nice. This guy's going to scream at me. Yep, there it is. Um, I learned something recently. I was watching some some U other YouTube Zelda stuff, and uh, apparently Redeads, and I guess Gibdos for that matter, they'll, um, when they do the freeze thing, uh, it doesn't matter how high above or below you they are. And in fact, um, I guess if you pay close enough attention uh, to how the level designs are in the original games with those those mobs, um, they're always positioned, like they'll never be above or below you necessarily. Um, so you don't really encounter that. But if you remember in a previous episode, I, I was confused because there was a redead way above me and it was kind of spooky. It, it, it froze me, right? Uh, well, that's why it's it's programmed to disregard height, I guess, or not programmed to, but it doesn't take into account height um, in that little radius, aggro radius. So, I don't know. Interesting little tidbit while we're going all the way back here. Okay, yeah. So this is the right, the right area. So what I was thinking of, it's like way down there. Should I just jump? Do I just jump? Fuck it. Fuck it. Sorry, Link. I know that hurt. Okay, so the thing I'm talking about is over here. And actually, let me try and get this again real quick. I kept failing before, but... <sighs> I don't know why he didn't hold on to that. Whatever. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, hello. This right here is what I was talking about. Now, I don't have the water tunics. I don't know how far we can actually get, but if we can at least get to that cave, that would be good. Oh. Okay, there we go. I was like, what? I can just breathe? Uh, oh, this is just a gold skulltula. That's all this is. Surprise, surprise. Might as well get it. Well, it's all the ideas I had. Oh, whoa, 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 Link, Link. Link does not like that. Okay, uh, let's do this. Yeah, that was the only real immediate idea that I had. So, I'm gonna need to explore a little bit more, I suppose. I'm gonna just kind of treat this as a long episode. I might cut this up, just so you're not bored with me just wandering around. 
but yeah, I definitely need to find out. Actually, hang on, I've got an idea. Do you remember the prisoner, uh, the lady who was dancing, she had the dancing fever, uh, she was saying that she killed her husband. Uh, and it was in a house. And I forget exactly what she said, but I can probably review my previous video or just go back to her. Um, anyway, there's a house that is completely abandoned over in the Zora area. Actually, let me go talk to her real quick just to get uh, a recap of what she said. But maybe there's something I can do there. I guess that's the theme of this episode, is <laughs> tying up loose ends. Because um, there should be one more medallion we need to get. We're missing one. Um, I just don't know. I, I haven't really seen... I mean, there's that place with the dense fire, uh, but we haven't gotten dense fire. So I don't know about that. So, yeah, I guess uh, this is all just side quest stuff for right now. If it's even side quests, I, this might all be important. Who knows? Yeah, it's this lady down here, and I'm coming down here so I can not only recap what she says, but I'm going to take a screenshot of it, too, so I can reference it later. It says, I didn't even kill him. He was still moving. It's I started to hit him with my hammer in his bed. See? Okay. This is important. I didn't think it was important before. Then I put him in the oven with a bomb. After that, I brought him to his favorite chair, and I shot him with an arrow. All right, I got all this recorded. I wanted to throw him in the lake, but instead I put him in the basement of my house. I, I think that's just hinting where where it is. Okay. Yeah, so I can't recall if I explored this house on an episode, but I did find an empty house. Um, at the time, I did not connect the dots here, but um, I was very confused by the house because there was nothing in it. Um... Now that I think about it, I think that was in, in between episodes on, on one thing when I was looking around, but... Am I really lost in this maze? I am. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Need some hearts, dude. Look at this, look at this no heart having ass. Yeah, look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Alright. Lego. Um, now I get to play the game of trying to remember where the Zora place is. It's over here, right? Because it's like past the Temple of Strength or whatever the fuck. That's another thing, too. There's supposed to be another... Oh, it's that temple that we couldn't get through. Yeah, the, the one with the... You need magic. Which, I bet you I have all the things I need for that. I should probably go back there. I bet the, the Lens of Truth is all that was really required for that. At least initially. So, we'll have to go do that at some point. Really set on this last medallion, though. Fuck off, you jumpy boys. Okay, so we're at the lake, and the house should be over here. No? Uh, forgetting where the house is. I think it's up there. Wait. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I could technically climb up there, but I got the hook shot, man. Ah, oh, fucking, I can't... Okay, whatever, fine. We'll go the long way. Whatever. I'm cool with it. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so here's presumably the crazy bitch's house. Go ahead and nab that. Oh, uh, while we were in town, we should have went to the spider house. Fuck, I'll need to do that. Let's mow her lawn for her. Take all her shit for her. She's not needing it. She's in jail. Okay. So, we're at Spooky House. Oh. I got my... Reference here. Alright, so I started to hit him with my hammer when he was on his bed. So there's a bed in here. Man, it's dark as hell in here. Okay, um. So if we take the hammer and we just hit it. What? Okay. Uh, maybe that indicated that that registered. Okay, and then I put him in the oven with a bomb. So let's take a bomb. And put it in there. I don't... I don't know if that's doing anything. But let's try it just in case. And brought him to his favorite chair and shot him with an arrow, which... It, there's a chair in here, right? No, there's no chair. Uh. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay. His favorite chair- Whoa, what the fuck? This wasn't like this last time. I unlocked something with that hammer. Okay, so... His favorite chair... Maybe it's the one that's... Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. The one that's tipped over, perhaps? Did that do anything? I don't think it did anything. I don't think the bomb thing worked right. Let me, um... Go back down. And maybe use a bomb chew instead, so it can actually get up in that bee. No, that did not work. Okay. I put him in the oven with a bomb. It's, that's a fireplace, that's not an oven, right? So maybe not? Was there an oven upstairs? Is this an oven? No. Hella confused. Hang on. Is there anything in here? Like, can I go down here? Oh, hello! I'm gonna get squished. <laughs> Damn it. Did it stay open, even though I did that? I hope so. What kind of crazy ass house does this bitch have? Oh, oh, okay. Well, another room. Dude, this is fucking spooky. This looks more like an oven, I think. Oh, hello. Yep, that definitely did something. Is there anything else in here? Water? Yeah, okay. The kitchen is like way upstairs. It's kind of weird. Alright, so I'm guessing that had to have opened the gate that's above there, right? Yeah, look at that. Now that's open. Cool. Chill. I like it. Oh, man. 
That's definitely his favorite chair. But what does it do when I shoot an arrow at it? Okay, I think there was one more gate on the first floor underneath that elevator. I think that's the last thing here. Last piece to the puzzle. Sure enough. Where am I now? Oh my god. I... This is cool as hell. I, I, I dig the fuck out of this. Oh shit. Light the torch. And then yeah. Oh man. Gibdo time. She had time to mummify him and all this. Oh fucking asshole. Get off of me. Slice. Slice. There we go. Sweet. It might just be a heart piece or something, but I have this feeling that it might be something bigger. We'll get us on our way. No. It's a bottle. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go cry now. No, I mean, that's useful, I guess. I don't know. This was a cool fuck... Like, this should have been part of the main story, for sure, because this was... This is a neat little house. I didn't expect this to be this this big when I first came in here. I guess we're stuck again. Um, but uh, when we were on the way here, uh, I was talking about that other temple that we didn't complete. Wait, I can't fucking get up here. This doesn't come down all the way. Oh, is that why that um, target is there? That's exactly why that's there. Okay. But yeah, um, I guess we'll go to that temple, check that out again, to see if we can do anything there. Um, because we definitely have a lot more tools than we did before when we were first exploring that place, so we'll go do that. Where even was that? Was it over here? There's only, like, three main sections of this map. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to remember, like, what is where. No, this is where the desert was. Okay. Okay, I got confused because I ported from there over to the snow area, which is on the opposite side of the map, so that makes sense. I think it was back over towards where the Goron area was, so we'll go check that out. Kind of an exploratory mode too, um, I may or may not cut through this just because maybe I'll notice something on the way, I don't know. Hoppy boys, hippity hoppity, get off my property. Hello, good sir. Goodbye, good sir. Okay, Goron area. That over there is a snowy place. And over Mia is the forest and the Goron place. There's the forest, so we'll go up here. Yeah, that over there is what I was talking about. The Path of Gods is what they were calling it. Can I, can I like... No. Should probably just 
do this. Just get rid of them. Oh, that probably... There we go. Wow, one hit. Hold on. Did I never notice that there was like a separate path going this way? With nothing here? Amazing. Wait, no. What's that? There's something here. Every path has a purpose. You can you can take that line and put it in whatever philosophical context you want. That's yours, you can have it. It's my gift to you. We never figured out what this is. I'm so thirsty. You fucking asshole. Maybe I can find some, like, spring water or something? Here's something else, too. I need to pay more attention to these rock rings. Oh, shit. Because of that right there. What? I was holding it. What do these guys got for me? Maybe some kind of upgrade. What? Does it not... Is that just what the mirror shield does? It breaks those? I guess it does. I never knew that. I will sell you a red potion for 40 rupees. I don't... Ah, oh, fuck. If you press B, it makes you say okay. Which is... Fucking annoying. But whatever. I guess we have a red potion now. I don't want a green potion. Go away. Taking all y'all's other shit. All these hearts. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, there you go. Cool. Alright. Back to what we were doing. Such an unnecessary <laughs> setup. All right. Possibly the strangest dungeon we've found so far. The Lens of Truth has to be important here. Mirror shield back on. I'm just, I'm literally trying anything. Just out of curiosity. You're back? Oh my god. Can you talk? I can't talk to her. Oh, hold on. Okay, let me go through the other way. So that's still locked. Ah, hey. Yeah, she just won't talk to me. Okay. Then let's go through this way. I remember that. Hey, hold on. Some of this we could have done. 
Okay, that opens that. So then I can come back here. Okay. And I need to go through this one. And there should be a... Stop it. There should be a switch. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Dang, I could have done this originally, but I was so psyched out by this place. And also, I was kind of focused on the medallion thing. But, um... Yeah, we could have done more of this. Okay. So, we can push this. Alright, but we can't push it any further because of that. So we'll go back through this way. Where that doesn't exist. And neither does the block. Alright. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. How do you... Stop it. We got a little further. I don't know. So the block should be back. No, the block reset if I go into the red room. That's another thing I noticed. Uh, two of these variations of this room are like dark, like this. And then that other variation is red. So let's go through the other way after I push this out again. And just for good measure, I want to really pull this boy out. I don't know if that's going to help anything, but I don't... we've seen crazier shit in this game. Okay, let's go through this way. Is the block still there? No. What the heck, man? So how do you get rid of this? Is the question. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I'm so sick of targeting her on accident and doing that. Quote unquote difficulty. Alright, so does that get rid of that? Yes, it does. Sweet. Okay, so let's go back to the main room. Oh, I was wrong about the dark thing. This room is clearly, like, blue. What the fuck? What the fuck am I thinking? There we go. Yeah, this is the dark room. There's a blue room, and then there's a red room. Got it. I think we are making progress. Dum da dum. If I go to the red room, will that still be there? Let's go see. Yes, it does. All right, cool. We've got direction. 
I think uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. But next time, we are going to get balls deep into this dungeon and see what it's all about. Maybe we'll get Den's Fire. I think that's the only thing we're really missing at this point. So thanks for tuning in. See you all next time. Bye-bye.